So today was a beautiful day and I wanted to share the story because I could have vlogged I, I could have vlogged it but I can't vlog apparently I can't vlog I think I, I'm one of those people that get too distracted with the actual moment that I can't even think about taking pictures so today was my boyfriend's birthday right so I wanted to share the experience today and I hope you like it subscribe like and please stay in the family so you guys know Gemini right you guys know Gemini if you don't know him there's a pic there's a video of him I'll put it in the cards and please know him <laughs> right so yeah so what happened today was okay i'm gonna start with the day yesterday yeah i think it's yesterday yeah, the day before i don't know today is a thursday i'm filming on a thursday because his birthday is on a thursday but i'll put it on friday so i'll just say the names of the days instead of saying yesterday or today because it's gonna confuse everybody okay sorry i was rambling anyway so i st i'm gonna start on wednesday so on, i had work to do right so i had i i'm still working it's the middle of the week and i'm working but my boyfriend's birthday was on a thursday and it's like a milestone it's a mile it's a, it's a serious milestone i wouldn't want him to like go low key on my birthday when i turned this the age he was turning so i i knew i had to go big and i'm i'm a kind of person that's gonna go big anyways i i'm just extra always i'm always extra thank you very much but yeah so what happened was i was supposed to go to work on wednesday morning because we go shifts so because of this whole co the whole corona thing we do shifts and so some people go in the morning, some people go in the afternoon. So I'm supposed to be a morning person. So what I did was I went to get my hair done at like 7 in the a.m. in the morning. And this is an agreement that we have with my hairstylist where it's like you can come anytime. As long as it's odd hours, I never have to book for an appointment because either way, she's not awake then either way, right? So I went normally the time that i go that's like 7 a.m so then i went i got my hair done and on my way back i feel like i was just tired and drained and hungry and i felt pretty moody so i'm like i can't go to work like this let me just go to his place because his place is closer to work than my place is my place i have to take two buses for him i have to take like a bus that's just like a 10 minute ride or something so i went to his place and then i played around with his niece niece is a girl right yeah i played around with his niece i was chilling with him and then we also had some errands to run so ended up finishing ev everything at like four in the evening so obviously i couldn't go to work then because it means that i had to book my own taxi and i'm already spending money on this birthday i'm not gonna spend money on taxi money thank you very much anyways moving on so yeah so i w then after that I got home and I got home and I was tired. I was so tired. And then I slept. I was tired and I got home around five. So I slept around six. I tried to eat. I think I ate. I don't remember what I ate. If I thought hard enough, I think I would remember. But I ate something. Okay. And then um, I slept. I ended up sleeping. I tried to watch something and then I ended up sleeping. So I slept and then I woke up at 8 30. So 8.30 was time to like, okay, do my grooming for the evening, bath, do actually have supper. And then in the middle of supper, I decided, oh, let me drink some tea. Because I'm yao like that. Yao is a tribe in Malawi, for those who are confused. Because I'm yao like that, I love me some tea even in the heat. So I made myself some coffee and I did not sleep. I did not sleep from 8 30 till i think 12 okay so the first thing i think was the coffee that didn't make me sleep because normally i love me some sleep i am a very i am a light i'm a heavy sleeper I'm a deep sleeper yes i'm a deep sleeper but also i sleep easily it doesn't matter if i've had coffee or not it doesn't matter if it's like there's like a, a budu budu music outside the room it doesn't matter i'm going to sleep but yesterday i was also very nervous about his birthday first of all like i said it's a very serious milestone so i didn't want to underdo myself i want him to remember his birthday as a special day but at the same time the the other issue was that what was 
lose it oh okay so i normally like uh, uh, the day before his birthday i'm always reflecting on how he's been such a good man what 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 and i think a time like this year i think it just hit me different i fell in love with him all over again it was just it's just like how are you this good to me how are you this you're just a blessing in my life so i think it made me nervous like this man really deserves a lot like i need to do the most for him is what i did enough is he gonna appreciate it you know me panicking also because i'm a perfectionist but yeah so yeah that happened and then i ended up okay then in the evening while i was not sleeping and panicking i was busy making my tiktok videos so that i like do cute videos i think i'll insert some videos in the, in this video but yeah i was doing my tiktok videos you know being cute being a cute little cheesy girlfriend yeah and then yeah and then 12 o'clock hit and i said happy birthday la 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 and he was asleep he, he answered the phone but i could tell he was sleeping so i'm like okay we'll talk tomorrow so after that at least i think 30 minutes later i slept so i slept at 1 a.m and i had a task that i was supposed to do on wednesday on tuesday actually but i i postponed it to wednesday and then wednesday i didn't go to work so then i'm like oh, okay thursday i asked him what his plan was when the morning came when the morning came <laughs> i asked him what his plan was and apparently he needed to go get um his hair cut or something like that so me being me i thought it was gonna take long so i'm like oh okay then i can go to work so that was like 8 30 in the morning i can go to work by the time i'm leaving the house it's two ten, like maybe 9 35 or something but in my head i think i'm like ah, i'm early by the time i'm getting to work it's almost 11 okay and then i start the task that i was supposed to do and then the day, oh yes the day also i had asked my friend to do my makeup the one that i i trusted with my face yeah and then she's like oh come at 11 30 and then i get there and two minutes later it's 11 30 i'm like huh so i i asked one of my workmates to help me out with what i was doing i actually had to give him lunch money <laughs> but yeah he didn't ask for it i was just i i think it was just an act of thank you so much you don't know what what you're doing right now you don't know how you're freeing me for the day so i yeah so then i went to get my makeup done and like sometime in that's when he's like ah, i'm done i've been done for a while now so i'm like ah then i'm coming and then ah, one thing led to another and i was late i was so late i was so late and then i got there and i could tell that he wasn't depressed but he tried to like be chilled about it so i apologized i apologized he wasn't shouting or anything but i really felt bad because i'm like on his birthday so i apologized i apologized and he's like oh where's the so good thing where we were because we had a photo shoot planned out the first plan was a photo shoot so we had it planned out. So he's like, where, where are we taking the pictures? So then I'm like, ah, it's actually right around the corner. So we went there and then we started taking our pictures. So taking you back to last year's birthday, if I can find the pictures, I will post them. But oh, they were so bad. They were so bad. And this, the man loves his pictures. He loves memories in the in the in a play in a way of pictures where he can look back to it i'm the kind of person i experience the moment and the moment is gone i don't know i i don't know if it's a kind of people or I, I don't know i just live my life in that moment and it's done while he's um he loves to keep his memories and whatever so i know pictures are very important to him and last year as much as i did the most but i flopped when it came to the picture the pictures so this year i'm like god please let this turn out right and then we get to the photo shoot and it was more expensive than we had budgeted for because i had booked it but i didn't know i didn't really read the play the 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 price ranges bo -bo. so then i ended we ended up uh i ended up asking him for some of his money like to borrow so that i can go withdraw more when we're done because there was no point in us leaving and then coming back while he has money so I borrowed his money and then we paid for them and then we see the pictures and they are fire. I hope I, I'll, I'll put them somewhere, somewhere. We'll, I'll link them somewhere. And so 
I could actually see him very excited about them. And that's the first thing where I'm like, God, thank you so much. Because I was panicking. I was really panicking about the pictures. And I this one thing I didn't want it to go wrong. And then I didn't want it to go wrong up to... I got to an extent where I, I think about a month or two ago, I had to ask him what I he wanted me to wear. Like I, I saved these shoes that he got me that... I actually waited for uh, the first time I wore them was on the photo shoot. I didn't even wear them to work today, but yeah, I was saving them specifically for the photo shoot. I asked him what kind of dress he wanted me to wear. I got a tailor made. I asked him what earrings and hair he wanted me to wear. I think I got the earrings wrong because he wanted these ones, but I ended up wearing little studs because I was coming from work and work doesn't allow these. And I forgot in the midst of everything. So yeah, and yeah, that's how much I wanted it to work out. And it actually did work out, thank God. And then phase two of the birthday, his mom had given me money, sent money all the way from where she lives. She lives outside the country. And so she had given me money to get him cake. So I got my cousin to make the cake so that it's easy delivery. But also she's really, really good. I love her, her baking, honestly. And then I'm like, and yeah, it's got me to my cousin's workplace so that I go get my charger head. My cousin actually has my charger head, but that wasn't why we're going, obviously. And then we get there and my cousin's all singing and jolly and gives him the cake. And he's even more excited about that. So he thinks his day is done because now it's like, okay, let's get food in town and then go eat it at home. And then we get the food and then we get home and I had put... So there were two parts, okay? Phase three of the birthday had like two parts. Um, so I had given him... I'm not saying what I got him for his birthday, but I had gotten him something big and something small. So I'd put the small thing in plain sight where he had just, he just opened the door. So I think he just looked at it and looked away. He still, he wanted me to actually say something, but yeah. So then I'm like, oh, this is yours, by the way. I hope you like it. This is all I could afford. So he was excited about it and he's busy trying it on. What, what, what? Trying to see if it works right. La, la, la. And he's very happy. He's like, babe, you shouldn't have done this. You've done enough. Because he was ex super excited about the, the cake and the photo shoot. And then now I took out the, very, the, the thing that I actually bought and he died. I've never seen him so excited. He's not a kind of person who expresses himself, but he expressed himself. He was so happy. I've never seen him so happy in my life. Like he actually said, thank you, man. <laughs> he called me man. <laughs> that's how you know it's deep when he's like, he just took out the first words from his mouth. And the other thing was he, oh, he made me take pictures of him being overwhelmed. <laughs> But yeah, I, I really, I was really happy seeing him happy. I wish I could film all this. Like I said, I wish it was a vlog because you guys, now you're trying to picture it in your head, but you could have seen it. But I, apparently I'm bad, I'm bad at vlogging. Please teach me how to vlog, guys. But yeah, he was very happy about it and we ate. He could barely eat. I had to pack his food. He had his ice cream and he let, he forgot his cake. But yeah, that's how excited he was. So I just wanted to share this story. Instead of vlogging, I just wanted to share the experience that we had today. And happy birthday to you, Gemini. We love you.